Hello everybody, it is Alec Kreebel, the man behind the iOS Genius channel, the channel that you're watching right now. Today, we will be showing you how to link a view controller you've created in Storyboard, which does not have any uh, header or implementation files, .hs or .ms, uh, programmatically. So normally you would do this by doing something like control click that we've done here. For example, this button is linked to this view uh, in Storyboard um, without any uh, programming. However, this view, this uh, button that says segue on it is linked to this view and you can see right here that is not linked using Storyboard. However, it was created using Storyboard as it doesn't have any .hs or .m files linking to it. I'm going to show you how to link to th to this view programmatically um, by implementing something in your .m file. This is useful uh, for let's say you want to in on on a timer go to that view or on a, a something when a user does something go to that view. Um, so I'll be showing you how to do that. So we can see right here, this button takes us to the red view, and this segue brings us to the purple view that is not linked in Storyboard, but is linked through programming. Hey, if you want to get the source code for this project, be subscribed and email me at imakeyourapps at gmail.com. We're going to start by using a single view application. We're obviously going to use Storyboards, and I'll just call this uh, segue test and we will create that. Okay, so here we are on our storyboard. Take note that our storyboard is actually called main storyboard dot storyboard. That's important to do this. Now, you may ask, why would you need something like this? Can't you just control click to, uh, to go to an, a next view? So for example, storyboard's great because you can simply connect views together. And you can do that by um, control clicking and dragging and doing mo uh, modal. And now these views are connected by this button. So when this, when this button and button is clicked, we will go to this view. But for example, we might not we might not uh, want to always do this, and we might want to do something uh, in our .m um, something like uh, on timer go to this view in uh, storyboard. Now you can do this you can do this uh, programmatically if you have another view controller that has dot, uh, dot h and a dot m file but you can't do it if you create a view so for example this view controller right here that I linked this button to does not have its own dot h and dot m so how do we link this button to a view controller that does not have a dot h or dot m but we want to reference it in code that's what we're going to be learning today so we're going to connect this button to this programmatically now first thing we need to do is obviously create our view and then go right here third tab from the left and right here in storyboard id we're going to want to name it and this is what we'll reference in uh, our dot m file so i'll just name this test view controller and we're just going to save that and then go right to our dot h all right and just because we have a button we're going to create an ib action so dash ib action go to test that's because that's what we named it and we just end that with a dash ib action go to test colon id sender semicolon and we'll just save that and we will go to our view controller dot m now that we have that we can go dash ib action go to test and go to test colon id sender open curly bracket and curly bracket now we're going to want to start this code off by going UI storyboard star main storyboard space equals space UI storyboard 
space story board with name colon and then this is what uh this part right here where we're gonna have two at quotes and in between these at quotes we're going to have um the name of your uh of your storyboard so for example mine is main story main storyboard dot storyboard if you have a universal app it'll be something like main storyboard underscore iPhone or main storyboard underscore iPad. So mine is main story board and then that's it. And bundle is nil. And end that with a square bracket and a semicolon. <clears throat> now we're gonna hit wanna hit enter UI view controller space star and we're just going to call it VC for view controller space equals space open square bracket main storyboard what we uh, named it above instantiate view controller with identifier and we're going to want to name it whatever we named it in our storyboard so for example when we highlight this view we see that our storyboard ID is test view controller. I entered that and you should have entered one for yourself and we're just going to put test view controller and then hit square bracket and then semicolon. Now open square bracket self present view controller and then we're going to do VC because that's what we named it above animated you can do a cool animation that uh, Apple has already pre-programmed. I'm just going to put that to yes. And then completion, nil. And that with a square bracket and a semicolon, and we should be great. Now we're going to go into our storyboard, go to our view controller, and we're going to uh, do go to test to our segue button touch up inside we're gonna save it and we're gonna run and now that we've built the simulator if you can see here I have made um, this button linked to this using storyboard like I've said and I've created a back button that just brings back to here so we can test now this segue does not link to this view which I've made purple for demonstration purposes um, through storyboard it links it programmatically in our .m file but I did create a back button using storyboard to link it back to here just for demonstration purposes now let's go see if our code works when we hit the button we get our red view and when we hit the segue we get our purple view so we can see here that this purple view is not linked at all in storyboard but is linked programmatically in our .m file using this right here I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something I hope you can use it in your code and uh, have a nice day if you're wondering what I make your apps at gmail.com is or why I name my email that it's because I do make your apps if you want me to help you uh, make your app just email me a job description kind of thing and we'll get working on an app together